Hi everyone. Let's learn how to solve this P2 fraction word problem together. Let's start by reading this question. All right. Bowser gathered a box of mushrooms. Let's draw a bar to represent the total number of mushrooms that Bowser gathered. What do we know about the mushrooms? Well, we are given that one fifth of the mushrooms were green, and the rest were blue. So, what does this fraction one fifth mean? This means that if we were to divide all the mushrooms that Bowser gathered into five equal parts, one of these parts will stand for the green mushrooms. Let's call this one unit. Then, what about the rest of the parts? The rest of this one, two, three, four, four units represent the blue mushrooms. So far, so good. Now let's read on to see what else you are given. There were forty-eight fewer green mushrooms than blue mushrooms. So let's compare the difference in the number of units that represent the green and blue mushrooms. Okay. Remember that we have four units that represent the blue mushrooms, and one unit to represent the green mushrooms. Four minus one equals three. And what can we tell from that? Can you tell that this difference of three units represent forty-eight mushrooms? And this is a really good clue to help us solve this question. Why? We need to know the total number of mushrooms. Correct. Which part of our model represents all the mushrooms that Bowser gathered? Yes, these five units. Since we know that three units represent forty-eight mushrooms, we can divide forty-eight by three to find the value of one unit. Forty-eight divided by three equals sixteen. And now that we know one unit represents sixteen mushrooms. Finding the value of five units should be pretty easy, right? All we need to do is to multiply sixteen by five, and this is going to give us an answer of eighty. So there were eighty mushrooms altogether. Do you get that?